Hi, I am Professor Nadir Arber. I am Professor of Gastroenterology and Medicine at Tel Aviv Medical Center and also the head of the Cancer Research Institute at Tel Aviv University. I was asked by the editor of Gastroenterology to discuss about paper coming out entitled An Immune Conjugate of Anti-CD24 and Pseudomonas Exotoxin Selectively Kills a Human Colorectal Cancer Tumors in Mice. I do not have to tell you that colorectal cancer is a major health concern in the Western world with approximately 1.2 million new cases expecting this year. CD24 is heavily glycosylated mucin-like protein. In previous studies that we are publishing in gastroenterology, we have shown that CD24 plays an important role in the multicell process of colorectal cancer carcinogenesis already at an early stages, we further demonstrated that treatment with anti-CD24 monoclonal antibodies induced an impressive growth inhibitions in colorectal cancer cells in a time and dose dependent manner in vitro and in vivo. One of the large trends that mark the future of antibody development for cancer therapy is adding other mechanism of actions to the antibody. The basis of our research uses SWA11 anti-CD24 monoclonal antibodies. These antibodies were generated by Rolf Stahl in Zurich and were kindly provided by him. This antibody is char characterized by a very high capacity for in vivo localizations, relatively low retentions in no target organs and persistence at target tumors. This makes this antibody to be a suitable candidate for use in the establishment for our novel thera therapeutic tool. In order to further increase the efficacy and potency of these antibodies, we armed it with a very little toxin. We were guided by the rocket models, as every rocket has a warhead and a delivery system, so does our system. Our warhead is a toxic moiety, the Pseudomonas exotoxin A, and the delivery system is the anti-CD24 monoclonal antibodies. In this study, we have used a mutated Pseudomonas exotoxin derivative, named PE30H. As we can see, it has three domains, the AB, ADP ribosylations, which is the catalytic domains, the translocations domain in yellow, and the binding domain in green. In this study, we have used a truncated derivative of these toxins, named PE38, that has a deletions of domain 1A, which serves as the binding domains. In order to bind the toxins to the antibody, you use a ZZ domain, which is derived from the staphylococcal protein A. In this slide, we can see the mode of actions of the immunotoxins. Here we can see a cancer cells expressing a CD24. The immunotoxins bind to the CD24. The entire complex is internalized into the endosomes. In the endosomes, foreign cleaved between the antibodies and the toxins in the translocations domain, where it is transported into the late endosomes, from the late endosome into the Golgi, and to the endoplasmic reticulum, where the toxin is unfolded, exported into the cytosols. In the cytosol, it is folded again and causing ADP robosylations of elongation factor 2, EF2. By this, it is an inactivated EF2, resulting in shutting completely protein synthesis in the cells, resulting in massive cell death. The conjugation of the SWA11 molecule to the small fusion protein did not interfere with the CD24 recognition site on the antibody, maintaining its binding affinity and selectivity. The novel immunotoxins proved to be a valuable tool for the treatment of colorectal cancer in vitro and in vivo by selective and effective, effective targeting of CD24 inducing a massive specific cancer cell death. Coupling the antibody to a lethal toxin significantly decreases the IC50 values, enabling the use of significantly less concentrations of the antibody. We were able to reduce the concentrations by 10 to the 6-fold. By this way, we were able to keep the efficacy 
and reduce the toxicity significantly. Moreover, the carboxyl se sequence of the Pseudomonas exotoxins is essential for its cytotoxicity. Therefore, we further improve the immunotoxin by altering its carboxyl sequence from REDLK to the endoplasmic reticulum retention sequence KDEL. The established immunoconjugate induces a remarkable tumor growth inhibition in CD24 bear bearing cells in nude mice. The anti CD24 toxin immunoconjugate may be an effective novel clinical agent for the therapy of patients with CD24 expressing malignancies. We are trying to reduce the immunogenicity of the new immunotoxins so it can be used for repeated injections. We are constructing chimeric and humanized forms of these antibodies. We are further improving the immunotoxin by covalent conjugating of the toxic molecule to the antibody. Thank you very much.